and he went more in depth with this than she did. So uh, codependency is this dysfunctional pattern of living and problem solving, which is kept in place by a set of rules within the family system. These rules make healthy growth and change very difficult. Um, so here are the rules and I can guarantee everyone that they recognize these rules within their own um, thinking patterns and their own family dynamic. I can guarantee it because a lot of you um, say these things in your videos and, and, and just so you know, I'm not just speaking to tarot readers. This is for everybody. Um, and we'll get in deeper into what I have to say about it, but here we go. The rules described are as such. One, it is not okay to talk about problems. Two, feelings should not be expressed openly. Three, communication is best if indirect with one person acting as messenger between two others. Triangulation. Four, be strong, good, right, and perfect. Make us proud. These are unrealistic expectations. Five, don't be selfish. Six, do as I say, not as I do. Seven, it is not okay to be play to be to play or be playful. And eight, don't rock the boat. These are the rules um, that silence you. These are the rules that mess up relationships. All right, so uh, this has been brought to my attention a lot. <laughs> um, but you know, yesterday when I did the video of, uh, MTV Cribs, <laughs> Earth Edition, <laughs> Earth Angel Edition, <laughs> we came across the all feelings are welcome, um, poster, right? And, um, almost immediately after that. I see uh, a meme that says self-control is strength. Calmness is mastery. You have to get to the point where your mood doesn't shift based on the insignificant actions of someone else. Don't allow others to control the direction of your life. Don't allow your emotions to overpower your intelligence. That statement, and this is, this is, this is why that first clip is included in this video today, because that statement that statement reinforces codependency. The second rule of codependency is um, it is not okay to express your feelings openly. It's about how you express them, okay? Um, so it is, it's not necessarily, that, 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 it, <laughs> that statement implies that if you do not remain calm, your whole life will be ruined. And the only reason that your whole life would be ruined if you do not remain calm is because everyone accepts that that's the only acceptable feeling. <laughs> okay. So if Ashley does not remain calm, I'm picking on Ashley. I'm gonna pick on Ashley every single day of her fucking life. And when Ashley gets mad, uh, four out of 30 days of a month, that's how I know she ain't shit because she cannot master her emotions, even though I'm fucking with her all fucking day, every day. Calm is the only thing that is acceptable to be a true master. No, let's talk about what emotional intelligence is. Um, emotional intelligence is the ability to manage both your own emotions and understand the emotions of the people around you. And there are five key elements, self-awareness, self self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills, okay? So the important thing is not that I just, I don't express myself openly. No. Do I express exactly what it is that I'm feeling? Do I recognize, okay, I might have just expressed that um, and that made that other person sad. So I need to make sure I apologize and acknowledge their feelings and say, I'm sorry that I made you sad. Um, you know, it might not have been the best way for me to express that, but you know, that is what I'm feeling and, and yada, yada. And how often are you able to regulate? Like how often are you able to use 
regular, good, healthy coping skills in order to handle and filter some of these feelings, right? That's actually what is necessary. All feelings are welcome. Happy, sad, angry, scared, tired, surprised, confused, excited, proud, annoyed, silly, hurt, lonely, shy, calm, overwhelmed, gratefulness, frustrated, embarrassed, and determined. They are all welcome. It's about how you express it. You can express it. Just how are you expressing it? Are you expressing it? Like, you know, I am so proud of my son. My son is the best son ever. I can't, you know, there's a difference, right? Second way was wrong, right? Right? Um, there's a time and a place to be silly. You know, there is a way to express that you've been hurt. It is okay to feel lonely. It's not okay to be putting every single Tom, Dick, and Harry in your pussy when you're lonely. You know, or, uh, you know, I can't even think of three females' names off the top of my head. Oh, my Lord. Same for men. Men, you're lonely. You don't express that. You just run around fucking everything under the sun. Okay. That's the wrong way to express it. Mm -hmm. There's a right way and a wrong way to express your feelings, but all feelings are welcome. And if you are saying that someone's life can be changed or ruined because they don't remain calm and they allow other people to make them feel a certain way, you are codependent and you are willing to ruin someone's life when they do not fit that standard. Um... And, you know, no shade to whoever posted that. I don't even know who posted that. I just, I screenshotted it and, and moved on because that, it literally came up after I said all feelings are welcome. Okay. Um, there, there is no, there, <coughs> the reason you guys keep trying this is because you have the, um, again, you have the idea of duality. Okay. You have the idea of duality. Ashley is low vibrational if Ashley is complaining. Ashley is low vibrational if she is frustrated, if she is embarrassed, if she is overwhelmed, if she is annoyed or hurt. If she expresses that, she's low vibrational. And so therefore, she's going to get bad karma when she expresses that. That's not how the world works. That's not actually how it works. Um, I had warned several readers, a couple of... Uh, not a couple years ago, but about a year, it was about a year ago to get rid of any cards that do that. Because that is not how it works. It's not how it works. Okay. Especially for someone like me who has been optimistic. Um, <laughs> I've been optimistic. I've been, um, you know, I've had a smile on my face. You can go through my 300 videos and see almost every single one has a picture of me smiling. Okay. That's not how it works. If you're saying that, oh, Ashley's been complaining a whole lot lately. Ashley has been um, down in the dumps. Ashley has not been staying calm. Oh, she's going to, she's ruining her manifestations. Um, you would, you would be saying that that has more power than 30 years. You know, I've only recently started to get into the whole down in the dumps, like, damn, this shit, like, wow. Like, um, you know, and it's commonly when I get around certain people though, but ultimately that's not my, that's not, that's not my mental state. That's not how I function in the world. That's not how I show up in the world. Okay, so if I've been doing that for 30 years, and you know, I'm now 34, and maybe I had one particular year where I was consistently upset, it would not then ruin 30, that energy has already been put out. So it would not ruin or prolong anything I had going on previously. So if I haven't reaped the benefit or the reward of all the work I've done 30 years, 30 years ago, you know, and I've only been doing this shit for like a year. Maybe I've been down in the dumps for like a year. It wouldn't, it, that, that, again, it's duality. No, I'm finally actually like feeling a full range of emotions in an appropriate way. You know what I'm saying? 
that's how you have to that 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 that's why it's not working okay like whatever it is that you're doing that you think um for anybody there's a lot of people out here right now there are people scratching their heads can't figure out why nothing has happened to them this is why because what you're running off of is a codependent mindset you do not think that people have a right to feel certain feelings right so because you feel that way and when you're doing all this extra bullshit and it's not working because a lot of people are waking up to the the fact that wait a minute I've been repressing my feelings. I've been repressing other people's feelings and they have a full right to feel every single thing they, a single thing they feel. And if someone is actually trying to pull you out of your element or make you feel a certain way, they're actually the one that's going to receive some type of negative repercussion as a result of that because you should you, that means that you're not behaving on a level of emotional intelligence if that is what you are in fact doing um and i i don't know why i keep saying that why do i keep saying that there are certain words and things that are coming to me and i that's not what my message was somebody's doing that (laughs) let's let's um we have one day until the full moon um it's not a full moon. I'm sorry. It's a new moon. One day, 21 hours to the new moon. So I am going to do um, a reading because there's there's a reason, you know, that it, there's a reason that shit caught my eye. Again, I'm sorry. I don't know who posted that. Um, we're all on a journey. OK, we're all on a journey. We're all learning. So I'm not like trying to condemn people for that. But I do recall a time in which I said, if you have cards that have that type of message, because this was a meme. So like, if you have cards that have that support that type of message, that is rule number two of codependency. And you are willing to ruin someone's life if they do not remain calm. And you, that therefore, um, you are limited, limiting them to one feeling. When I just read what, Four, one, one, two, three, four, five. I just read 20 different feelings on this little paper. Okay. So when you're limiting, limiting one, one feeling in response to other people and you say, if they do anything other than that, when people are doing stuff to them, it'll ruin their life. No, you're willing to ruin their life. You're willing to keep them from things because you only think one feeling is acceptable. Okay. Nah, that's not how it works. Okay. So we got to get off. We got to get off of that. Whoever has that mindset, whoever's using cards like that, whoever has a, is, is entertaining memes like that. You're wrong. Okay. It's okay to be wrong. Okay. It's okay. Um, and again, it's about how you choose to express it. Okay. So I can't walk around here and be like, my son is the best and say, I'm just a proud mom. No, that's like pridefulness. You know, every single one has a, an extreme to it. Sad versus depressed, angry versus rageful, scared versus terrified and, and unwilling to do anything as a result. You know, Each one has an extreme. You just want to stay out of that extreme. You want to make sure that you're not affecting other people with your feelings. Okay. And that's that. Y'all. This wasn't even the lesson for today. Y'all have a great day.